Hello everybody, how are you tonight? Welcome to IELTS Cambridge and TOEFL Certification Classes. And this class is probably one of the most important classes I've ever recorded to you. The reason why I say that is because this time you're going to stop using the adverb very to describe stuff, you know? Any basic student can say very happy, very bad, very sad, very good. And now, we are going to learn the proper words to describe things and people's personality. Alright? So, I hope you really like But before we start the class, please click it below and subscribe to this channel so you can follow all the news and all the new videos from next time. Alright? So, let's start. <laughs> Instead of saying very important, you can say paramount, imperial, crucial. For example, it's imperial that the government take action before the coronavirus is spread all over the country. Alright? In this case, we are using imperial instead of very important. Okay? Next one. Instead of saying, oh, it's very nice, very nice speech, very nice person, you can say like, my grandfather is an amiable person, very kind, very gentle, you know? So, instead of saying very nice, you know? Or when you go to the beach, instead of saying, oh, this is a very nice beach, you can say that's a stunning beach, a spectacular view, you know? So, let's continue. Uh, instead of using very bad, you can say atrocious, dreadful, for example, it was an atrocious form of violence, instead of it was a very bad form of violence, okay? It, that crime was atrocious, which is much stronger than just very bad, alright? So, next one, very far. Instead of saying like a very far village, you can say that remote village needs some medication for yellow fever, so we need to help them out, alright? Remote village instead of very far village. The next one, instead of saying very serious, you can say severe, like uh, John has a severe disease, and not very serious disease. Anyone can say very serious, but severe would give you extra points in the speaking part of the test. Alright? Instead of saying that your iPhone is very expensive, you can say it's overpriced. It's dear, it's costly, all right? So it's much better than just saying it's very expensive. Anybody can say that. Instead of saying that you're very sad or the girl is very sad, you can say, oh, I think my cousin is sorrowful this morning. She felt so heartbroken, I feel sad for her, right? Much better. Now, instead of saying very pretty, you can say, Stunning, like a stunning view, like stunning mountains. It's a gorgeous dress, instead of just very pretty dress, alright? Instead of saying very hard, you can say, this is a demanding task, arduous task, punishing task, which is much stronger than just very hard, okay? Instead of saying that you've done very good in the past, you can say you did exceptional, you know? Or marvelous. So, which is much stronger than very good. Instead of saying that your cell phone is very cheap, you can say it costs peanuts. Or it has a very competitive price, alright? So, you don't need to say very cheap, which everybody can say that, okay? Instead of saying it's a very specific element, you can say it's a very peculiar element. So in science, if you're studying for your PhD, you might work with very peculiar material, all right? Excellent. Instead of saying that he's very slow or he works at a very slow pace, he can work at unhurried pace, all right? An unhurried pace instead of just very slow, which means exactly the same, okay? Instead of saying that this song or this rhythm is very common, you can say it's trivial, it's ordinary, right? You can hear that anywhere, right? So, instead of very common, it's just trivial. Instead of saying that Maria is very intelligent, you can say she's bright, she's wise, okay? 
Instead of saying very clumsy, like a disastrous person, you can use a more formal word, which is maladroit. You know, somebody who spills water, spills coffee, kicks everything, is a very disastrous person, you say, oh, he's such a maladroit man. Alright? Instead of saying that I'm very busy today, I can say I'm snowed under with work or with paperwork or I'm bogged down right now. If I'm bogged down, it means I have a lot of paperwork, a lot of red tape, and I need to work really hard. Okay? So I'm very busy. Instead of saying that I'm going through a very poor moment of my life, I can just say this is the most impecunious moment of my life, though temporarily I haven't got any money, I'm on a budget, alright? Instead of saying that this movie is very boring, you can say this movie is tedious, it's dull, alright? So you might sleep during the movie. Just don't say please that my class is very tedious, <laughs> okay? Alright, instead of saying I'm very determined to pass that exam, I can say I'm eager to pass, I'm that sad on passing that examination, okay? So, instead of saying I'm very motivated to win, I'm keen on winning, or I'm keen to win, alright? Depending on the preposition, you need to use ing, so just adopt the verb, okay? Excellent. Instead of saying that it's very risky to carry that product in your car, you can say it's very hazardous to carry the same product in your car, alright? Instead of saying it's very dangerous, you can just say it's alarming, okay? So it could be alarming to drive in during snow times, alright? Instead of saying that Alice is very sensitive, you can say oh, she's just touchy, you know, someone who cries very easily, you cannot say anything to her, she'll feel, she'll hold grudges, so basically that's what it means, she'll hold grudges, very touchy, you know. Instead of saying that you have a very stable employee in your company, you can say you have a reliable employee, somebody who you can count on. So, you can close your eyes and know this guy is going to get his job done, alright? Instead of saying that Paul is very arrogant, you can say he's aloof, he's snobbish, he's nutty, you know? Somebody very arrogant, who looks down on people. And instead of saying that I am very crazy, you can just say, oh, Rodrigo is an insane teacher, alright? But it's good being insane, it's not bad. So guys, again, if you use the proper words instead of using the adverb very, you'll probably increase your grade so much that you might get like a C1 or a C2 level in the speaking part of the test. So thank you so much for watching this class. Hopefully this is going to be very productive for you. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the link below and I hope to see you next class. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye. -bye.